Regret is not fucking rape. You cannot sit there and consent and then come back and say, oh my God, I felt bad about that. I'm going to withdraw consent. He actually great me. Take some fucking accountability. If you have sex with someone and you regret it later, that's your fucking fault. Yep. Okay? Women are equal. Okay? Women are liberated. Women are free. Freedom comes with what? Responsive fucking ability. I want right? to say something about that because Please, I think that, like, obviously, rape is a serious problem, right? It's not gone away. But at the same time, it's pretty common to the average person right now that that word is liberally being used. Yeah. And yeah. it's really taking away the seriousness of that word because it's getting used so much, mm -hmm. right? And it's taking away from women who have actually been raped. Right? Yes. It's, it's, yeah. it's kind of like now, like if Good you point. don't if you don't agree with something, like they immediately call you a racist, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like taken away from the the seriousness of like being called racist. Like everybody's a racist nowadays, you know, like because everybody just is just using that word so liberally. And I just think like really this whole situation. It's just so slimy. Like what Vice is doing, it, they're really living up to that filthy media production company that they oh yeah own. And you know, it's forty four percent owned by George Soros. Oh shit! Are you serious? Yeah, damn. The Soros Fund, forty four percent owner in Vice Media. Holy fuck, dude! So, well, that explains I mean, a lot. Yeah, like what would be, be a conspiracy theorist or not, whatever the case may be. But I mean, you know, yeah, there are no coincidences. Coincidences, it, it, dude. This thing stinks of no integrity. Um, and but there's the bottom line is there's a lot of shitty people out there that just like want to watch the world burn and they'll go along with this fucking witch hunt just for the sake of it. And, you, you know, then this could happen to somebody else. This could happen to fucking, you know, Antonio Brown. This can happen to fucking Tom Brady. It could happen. It almost to, did. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I just think this whole liberally using the word. I got raped. I got sexually assaulted. And again, I'm not taking away from the women who have had this happen to you because it does happen to women. Absolutely. Yeah. But at the same time. There is a lot of social manipulation going on with these women mm -hmm. because they're regretting a situation or they didn't like the way a guy made them feel. Yep. They after the fact. There you go. After the fact. And they understand like, okay, society's on my side. I see these girls on Oprah. I see these girls on The View. Everybody's believing them. They're getting likes on social media. I think I could do this too. And like we have witnessing that recently with the Amber Heard trial with Donnie. Yes, Donnie Depp. 100%. Like, Amber Heard, like, literally shit in this man's bed <laughs> and fucking attacked him and then set up the phone in the kitchen to try to film an altercation between them two that she was acting to make it look like Johnny was a bad guy. And it's just showing you... she got you, found out. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's just showing the whole world. Like, that was a massive red-pilling case for the world, the yep. Amber Heard thing. And, He'd you know, be in prison right now if it weren't for him recording... Yeah, those yeah. conversations. Yeah, yep. yeah. No, te technology is a great equalizer. You know, thank yes, God for having cameras around and yeah. all those things. Yeah. But I just think, like, really, this this liberal use of the word rape is mm -hmm. really troubling. You yeah. know, we, we, it's really, really troubling. I'll tell you this: this particular case, in terms of you know, woman after woman coming forward, you know, and and regaling us with their harrowing stories of survival. This is uh, very similar in that regard to the Deshaun Watson case, right? First, it was two, first it was two women who said Deshaun Watson was sexually inappropriate. Within a week, it was like twenty two women. This is what it comes down to, and this is what's really fucked up about modern women. Modern women, when they have sex with a person of status, it's almost as though they expect to get paid in some sort of way, yeah. whether it's money, status, clout, whatever the case may be. If they don't get what they think they deserve for having sex with a celebrity, that's when they go to the media and say, he he uh, e pardon me. Yeah. Women. And this is funny because women all the time. Well, we're not prostitutes. This, that and the other. OK, well, then why all of a sudden? Time and do time and time again, and all it takes is one woman, right? Yeah. So if one woman accuses a, a a rapper or an athlete of grape, then all of a sudden every other woman that fucked that rapper or athlete, oh yeah, yeah, he raped me too, and then oh yeah, yeah, he raped me too, and then they do hit pieces like this. Another woman comes forward with her harrowing story, and I I agree with you. I had the same reaction with uh, as you did when they said you know uh, uh, the survivor came forward. We're like survivor, yeah. are you fucking serious? Yep. And the, the last thing I'll say is this, what you said about retroactively withdrawing consent, that's exactly what this is. Yeah. It happened mm -hmm. to Deshaun Watson and now it's happening to Andrew Tate. And, and one more thing, 
when you're a man of Andrew's status, you don't have to eat. You don't have to grape women. Andrew had dude women lined up around the block just to just to get on his yacht, just to get in his Lambo. Why in the world does he need to have sex with women against their will when he's got a dozen other women who are willing to come to his compound and let him smash him out? It makes no sense. Thank you. So any sort yeah. of public, so any sort of public epar accusation regarding a rapper, athlete, a person of status, a lot of times it's an attention and a money grab. They feel at that point they feel like they didn't get what they deserved after having sex with him. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so Andrew's, Andrew's huh. six foot four. He's tall. He's rich. He's good looking. He dresses well. He has charisma. He knows how to talk. That's He doesn't need to rape anybody. No. Know? He doesn't. Ever. So I spent at least 30 minutes playing that clip back and forth, right? Because we all know Andrew's voice pretty well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yes. No. I was like, okay, hold on a second here. Let me put an AI voice mm, next yeah. to what it sounds like a real voice and see what happens. It's distorted. Yes. And Mo, you're a sound engineer, right? Tell me from your experience. Does that sound like Andrew's voice from what you're hearing or no? Yo, your mic's, your not, mic's on. not on, buddy. My, mic's not on. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, that actually does sound like somebody else. So uh, yeah, we'll, I will okay, say okay. that the voice recording the, is from a couple of years ago. So your yeah. voice is lighter earlier. Yeah. Not only that, they over exaggerated his uh, his accents like masculinity. Right. Yeah. They over it's like they over exaggerated it. And some of the stuff he said is like, OK, what would Andrew Tate say? Let me just think of what it, uh, yeah. to me. I think it's AI. I think they're fake. Now, man. now I have a, a clip from Andrew talking. Right. So I want you to play that clip. It's in the chat. Um, if you don't mind, Chris, and then play the audio again, because to me personally, bro, oh. it sounds like someone put AI. And th they thought what he was going to say, yeah. and they just said it. And dude, he, even his, his, his accent, his, his fluctuations, it's weird, bro. It's, it's like, like, it's like, it's it's like Photoshop yeah. only on the sound it's side. It's delayed, bro. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. no, I don't know if it's true or not, but dude, this is really. What's a fresh and fit? An apple a day keeps a doctor away. Fresh and fit each day. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it does, but you need to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Behind the scenes, guys. Crystal clear, right? Now, play the, um, the audio. I don't know, bro. To me, if he's like his AI, it could be wrong. But I'm just saying from like my experience and I've, what I've been hearing, and even more, so on the journey is telling you, bro. We said the, that. The, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. Yeah. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Turn me on. Why am I like that? Why? I am one of the most dangerous men on this planet. Sometimes you forget exactly how lucky you were to get fucked by me. Would you rather me pin you down and make you do things you didn't like? Who is or that? would you rather fuck? You I'm do wrong. Like, but I don't know who that, who that is, bro. Dude, but it's 2023, man. Technology yeah. makes that possible. Let me let me say this. Let's assume it's his voice. Okay. Yeah. Let's assume those sex messages are real. Let's assume everything that they're saying is real. Mm -hmm. I want to know why is he sending voice memos like that that are incriminating in nature if the girl's actually a victim? Right. Yeah. Boom. There you Tell go. me that. Okay, there you cool. go. Common let's sense. use common. Let's, common let's sense. use fucking common sense, yeah. which these liberal idiots don't fucking use. If he actually Grape this girl mm -hmm. and did terrible things to her. Why is he sending multiple voice memos <laughs> about his criminal activity with her in particular? Why he and, would? That's and why, that's the game. And we all know Andrew's not stupid. No, he's right. not right. stupid. He's calculated. He's intentional about his moves. That would be super. Dumb. So so again, using deductive problem solving and yeah. seeing the type of girls that he's dealt with before and what they like. Yeah. Okay. He's a world championship fighter. Yeah. We know girls like to get dominated in the That's bedroom. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. He matches that bad boy archetype, et cetera. Right? Yeah. So what do girls like? They like to get choked and have sex and all this other stuff. And you know what's also interesting? Chris, there's an article from Vice. <laughs> the, so the same people that are alleging this crap about him. Click that last link on the, on the thing, uh, Chris. Yep. I want to show you an article that Vice themselves wrote. All right? Which is very interesting to me. That they want to go ahead and write this article and then come back and say... That Andrew is a rapist. Is it weird to fantasize about having sex against my will? Thank and this you. is wrote by one of their own people. Wow. W in the chat. Fuck that shit. There you go. Right? Wow. So talk wow. about the contradiction. So look, this is a girl coming forward right, in this article. Is to, what I told y'all before. A lot of girls, guys, it's an uncomfortable reality. Yeah. But they fantasize about getting choked out, it's true. raped, etc. by a man. I also want to tell y'all this because you guys know I cover serial killers. Ted Bundy. The Night Stalker. Jeffrey Dahmer, yep. all violent serial killer rapists. When they went to trial, you know how many girls were there watching them at the trial? Lining up. All of them. Hey, yeah. guys, again, I don't make the rules. I just report them. A lot of girls have a carnal need for a man who's dominant, that's aggressive, etc. Girls love it. Now, am I saying that rape is cool and everything else like that? No, no, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that 
girls want that aggressive sex from the right guy. So I'm looking at the text messages. I'm looking at the voice memos. I know that Andrew filmed the video before with a girl and she wanted that. It would make sense for me, right? To use logic that other girls will probably want that treatment from him as well. Yeah. So you're telling me that these girls want to come forward years later and say, Oh, Andrew, Remy, blah, blah, blah. And then they go and bring it to the police and the police don't prosecute. Of course they want to prosecute, but you know what? They went ahead, they looked at the messages from the girls too, and they yep. saw that they plotted on him. They saw that they were trying to get money out of yep. him. Yep. They were mad that he fired them from the webcam business. So it wasn't that he raped them, it's that they were mad. Yep. So what did we talk about before? Girls want to retroactively withdraw consent because they regret. Yes. And the reality is you cannot sit there and call regret rape. And that's what we, the problem that we have in the West right now where girls use rape as a weapon to go after a man that pisses them off or after a man that they regret having sex with because he didn't take her on a second date. He didn't court her after. Right. He made her feel like a whore because he kicked her out immediately. And the thing is, is that we got to put some accountability on these girls because a lot of them are lying. Yeah. But Straight you know, up. 